Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft, a pack reborn. And we are getting ready to welcome into our herd of wolf spirit horses a new life. I am so excited. I am really hoping that we will be able to have one of Zephyr and Rain's children who they lost. I really think the Starry Skies could pull some punches for them and maybe pull some strings and guide a specific spirit down, but we'll have to see. I will I will try to stack the odds in their favor, but we will have to see which spirit will be chosen by the Starry Skies to become the foal that we are about that we are about to have? Yes, that we are about to have. All right, so Rain is now pregnant. You guys know what that means. We actually need to jump over to Zafir and he is going to try to help lead the way as he and his beloved mate, who he has shared lifetimes with, will now go forth into the summer fields and hopefully find the spirit energy she will need in order to bring a new foal into this world and give a physical body to one of the Starry Skies ancestors. So, all right, she's gonna move very slow. <gasps> one of the cow clan! You all better be behaving correctly to all of the chicken clan now. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a very strong cow from the cow clan. Okay. Uh, without, without Rain's help, this might be a little more difficult. And with her help, it looks like it's still going to be somewhat difficult. Oh boy. We may have just gotten ourselves into a bit of a predicament. All right, let's give it a good run. Then we'll rest for a second. Nay. Oh my gosh. We may have gotten ourselves in- We got ourselves into a predicament! Okay, this is actually going to be a little harder than anticipated. Um... I can't believe this. One second we were telling the cow clan what for, and now we literally just had our rump served to us, like on a patty. I can't believe this. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna have to be very careful. We can't allow the cow clan, who we just served quite a bit of justice to and agitated by defeating their four powerful and furious sisters, to know that we have become weakened because our beloved Rain is in a, uh, a fragile state right now. Well, I don't know how fragile she is, but she can't really run very quickly. <laughs> That's kind of more to the point. So, hmm, maybe we better stick to some chicken berries for a little while. And I think we can actually handle maybe, let's try one of the wild pig clan. Perhaps we can handle this battle a little better. All right, there we go, because they cannot run very quickly. And maybe if we do quite a bit of attacking very rapidly. Oh, and look at that. Rain was actually able to join us this time. There we go. And we leveled up. Look at her go. Eat on, my dear, eat on. Can we actually switch over to her now? Yes. Eat up, eat up, Rain. Oh, look at that. It's barely moving. Oh my gosh, yeah, it takes a little bit of work to get her scooching along on this pregnancy. We're gonna need to eat many, many, many a chicken berry. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right, let's go ahead and get some more strength. Maybe making a Zephyr stronger will actually give us the boost that we're looking for. Uh, and let's start getting some chicken berries for her then. He would not deny his mate much. Like I said, they've been together for many lifetimes. I really love that about them. All right, let's try to go ahead and take out. Oh man, it's so much harder without her help. Well, harder is kind of a strong word, but it is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Maybe we'll get the most energy just by, by planting the chicken berry bushes in the first place. All right, let's see. Hold still, chickens. I mean, no, you deserve to kind of flee for your lives if that's what you choose to do. But again, you're not dying. I mean, you kind of, your spirit energy is just being shattered and you'll pop up somewhere else. So I don't feel so guilty about this. All right, let's eat some chicken berries. Come along, Rain. And then did you see there's a whole pile of them right over here for you, Rain? Actually, oh, dang it. We lost that one. That's okay. Well, did that help her out at all, doing that? Mm, I think it did. I think it's better than risking our, our lives. Well, risking losing our energy and our territory here. There we go. 
I wonder, let's go ahead and actually just take these three out. Sorry, chickens. Thankfully, you'll pop back up in no time. There's that one. And then there was a third one nearby, wasn't there? Oh, but we've got some chickweed here. We might as well eat it. All right. And Rain, are you gonna go ahead and eat? Yes, she is. Wonderful. All right, what about the one over here? Might as well let it not go to waste. I don't think she's gonna make it back in time. Oh, there she is. Come on, hurry, Rain. Eat it. Oh, look at her big pregnant belly. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, come along, Rain. Let's go ahead and see how this chicken is doing. There we go. And a little bit of chickweed, if you don't mind. There we go. We'll let Rain hopefully eat most of that. And we'll check on how the pregnancy is going. I will be stunned if we manage to get the foal today, but I would also be extremely pleased. All right, there's that. Hey, her pregnancy is actually going great. Maybe like all these chicken berries are just fantastic for a expectant mother horse. What is going on? <laughs> Zafira, why do you want to attack this horse? Or this horse? Sorry, there's a horse to her, right? This particular chicken. It, does it just look the best? Do you just think it's going to offer up the best variety of, of chickweed? I guess he did. But yeah, the pregnancy is actually coming along quite well. Oh gosh. I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> They're so fast at everything they do. I, I, I don't know what, like how I'm going to take it if they just end up having uh, a wee little foal so soon. I mean, we're gonna have to take care of it. It's gonna have to learn how to be both a wolf and a horse all at the same time. That's a lot. All right, let's wait for Rain to eat more. In fact, I think we can go ahead and switch to her. <gasps> She's already halfway there. It takes everybody else from our wolves to our lynxes so much more time. I feel like the wolves are actually the slowest. Now that I've had an opportunity to experience life with the various clans, I think the wolves are actually the slowest when it comes to being able to level up. All right, let's go ahead. Come on. Some wild pig berries. Maybe there's some truffles. Maybe that's what the spirit energy turns into. What do you guys think it turns into? Truffles? I mean, that sounds delightful, right? Let's switch over to rain. Okay, never mind. Let's try now. Never mind. All right, apparently there's a chicken nearby who wants to do battle, so we cannot switch over to rain. There, but now she's eating. Will she eat the last piece? No, apparently she's done with that. <gasps> oh, there's one of the cow clan. Okay, we can't let them know that we're in a sensitive state right now, so we'll avoid them. Let's see. Where'd those chicken berries run off to? It's very difficult when you're a horse and all you want to do is eat grass, but unfortunately you have to step on a chicken first. Oh, what's this? Oh, a sunflower. It looked like a fallen branch for a second. All right, there's a sheep. Zephyr, fly like the wind you are named after. And, oh ha, chicken berry. There we go. There's a couple of the pigs in the forest too. That might be enough to actually help her with the foal. Oh, I'm so nervous. We're gonna have to like randomize and see which name gets chosen. I mean, to be honest, the odds of it being one of their lost, long, long lost children, hopefully I can set the odds to at least half because I think that would be fair. It would be amazing if we had the rainbow Pegasus, because then I would I would say that we could have like little uni or little um rainbow be reborn. Rainbow was one of their daughters who unfortunately was not able to make it. Oh, I was too flippant on this. We don't have enough energy for this battle, and now we've got two pigs on our tail. Okay, this is just gonna have to be fast and furious. Hello, attacking, please. Oh, thank goodness we leveled up. <laughs> Otherwise, we would not be able to make this happen. Oh my gosh. All right, quickly. I definitely, definitely overestimated our abilities and our strength there. But now that's taken care of. And Rain is so close. She's so close to being able to give birth. Oh, come on, Rain. 
Oh, thank goodness. Let's have her eat. Eat, eat, eat. There's so much food here. We just barely survived that. Zephyr really had a sudden just spurt of luck when it comes to having survived that. Look at how round she is with her pregnancy. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, Rain. There you go, my dear. There you are. Go ahead and let you eat a little more. Now the rain is coming. She's gonna give birth to this foal today. I cannot believe this. Oh, we need more chicken berries. I think it's because the chicken berries are an exceptionally healthy food. Clearly, this is why we are here with our wolves as well, because this should be the place that Sogina is actually going to be giving birth in a different part of the Summerfield realm. Uh, they, they can't overlap, unfortunately, but uh, it's good to know that this is a good place for pregnant mothers. It might be the place that we bring most of our pregnant mothers. Because there's just so much food here. Alright, we'll search the fields for a snack. Alright, come along, Rain. You're very close. Oh my gosh, she's so round. <gasps> Rain's ready to give birth! Oh my gosh! Quickly, back to the den! Back to the den! This is amazing! We need to see which spirit the Starry Sky Ancestors are going to be sending down to join us. Oh my gosh, who is it going to be? I like really, I, I, I might do half of the names, their children, that they had in Wolf Quest who unfortunately died so young. And I'll do half the names just from the entire Wolf Quest list to make it fair. And then we'll see, we'll see which one gets picked. But all right, guys, are you ready? Okay, hang in there, Rain. It's time. Rain? <gasps> A new baby is born! Oh my gosh, you guys! I would like to introduce all of you to Droplet. We did actually end up with one of their pups reborn. Droplet was actually one who made it to the summer hunting grounds, but it appears that his spirit here in the starry skies afterlife is strong enough that he wanted to resume his bond with his parents, which was so exciting. So he is a little boy. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to roll the dice to see what appearance he might take on. So he is actually, let's see, he's actually going to have this appearance, which is kind of like the browns. So this is what Droplet's going to look like, but we can actually change his appearance to anything in the brown range, um, which I would say would be like this one. I would say this one or, oh, that's, oh man, that's a beautiful one. Oh, that's kind of more, uh, that's kind of brown. Man, that's so cool. Droplet. Oh, this would be so cool if this was your actual coloring droplet. Oh my gosh, this would be amazing. <laughs> but I think that this would be a really good one for him too. But apparently he's supposed to be more in like the brown range. Um, gosh, this one would be so much fun too. I love all of these. I really do. He, ne he needs to be more of the browns. This is a nice one. It's kind of, it's like dark brown. Yeah, it's not black. It's not like closer to the blacks. Um, I think we'll go ahead and allow that then. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this one. And then let's see. I wonder, would he wear a little outfit? He might. <laughs> he might. He might wear a little outfit, but I think we're okay right now. Would he wear a little hat or anything? I don't think so. I think this is more meant to just, when they when they actually unlock this, this reveals a little bit about their spirit versus actually wearing these too often. And do we have any blue eyes for him? We do not. So I'll roll the dice again. And apparently he has just plain brown eyes. So he's kind of a simple little one, but he has our little foal. Look at how tiny he is. That is ridiculous. That is literally just a shrunken horse. He needs to be fed spirit energy so that he can get big and strong. This is fantastic. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, as usual, when we have a new arrival into the family, we will go ahead and have a blessing from the Starry Skies ancestors in the form of one ultimate chest given as the blessing of a new life reborn that little droplet shall now have. So let's see what the blessings of the ancestors will be for him. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> wow! 
Oh my gosh, he's got a legendary outfit on the eagle. He has got a little bit of energy. They're hoping he will have a little bit of strength. And he has got a little a little lynx sitting down and kind of growling. Very contemplative, huh? Well, that's interesting. All right, well, I'm super excited to have him with us too. Oh, and we can level up some of his parents. Um. He's going to be a baby for a while. I might want to save the energy, the spirit energy, so that we can actually give it to Droplet when he is a little bit older. Oh, he's so tiny. We're going to have to, like, feed him so many chicken berries. We'll have to go get lots of chicken berries, Rain. This is going to be very exciting. And then, since they're here with their new little one, let's actually go ahead and we will let them rest today and allow them both to have their ancestor blessing and ancestor dream. Beginning with Rain, because she is the one who had the baby, which is very exciting. And hopefully this will reveal a little bit more about her personality and her future as well. So let's see what she has drawn. The tiny pig hat! Oh, one day we'll have tiny pigs to put tiny hats on, but today is unfortunately not that day. We also have a common elixir for a little bit more strength for our pack, and a fascinating eagle animation yet again, dreaming about quite the variety, perhaps tiny things and feeding her baby. He needs a little bit of strength, tiny things, feeding the baby for, so he has more strength, and uh, the act of feeding, except perhaps through the eyes of an eagle. Hmm, interesting. Now let's go ahead and see what Zephyr has pulled as his f blessing today. More strength, beautiful purple eyes, and beautiful purple clothes. So perhaps he is thinking about the beautiful flowers that grow along the riverside, and how excited he will be to share that with his son Droplet in the future. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like to welcome our tiny foal into the family and consider subscribing to become a member of our pack. And I will see you next time as we help this young one begin to find his legs and become strong enough to help us continue to expand the control of the Starry Skies pack through all of the summer fields. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.